Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm just going to start vlogging again. I just I started too many vlogs recently and I just haven't really gone through with them. Um, like I've started them and then I've got so many just vlogs sitting in my camera roll that I need to either edit and get up like half done or just kind of like start from scratch. So this one I'm just going to try and just vlog what's going on in my weekend. I'm currently getting ready to go to work. Um, I have to wear my hair back, so this is the walk. Um, but I am just going to show you a couple things that I do in my morning routine to get ready for work and just what I'm doing this weekend. So I start my morning off with a green juice. How cute is this glass from Kmart? And I use the greens powder from EHP Labs. It's this one. It's pineapple flavor Oxy Greens. And you can get it from Elite Subs using my discount code. It is affiliate. All that jazz, all of the links discount codes and like what it means to be an affiliate will be down in my description i also take extra eight this is just like an immunity supplement for my naturopath um recommended and the hair support vitamins by bondi boost so that's my morning setup okay so um at the moment my favorite body spray is the Parasito um hideaway one it's just like a more light smell and at work I just like don't really like to smell like the food that I'm serving when I'm at work but this is like a more light summery mist as opposed to like a perfume so that's why I like it um discount code is here I don't get any kickback from this I just like the product um and they kindly gifted this to me but yeah I don't know what this vlog is going to entail I'm back at uni I'm working a bit I'm just gonna like kind of try and keep it as real life as possible um what's just come up on my screen I hope that didn't come up, cut off but yeah just as real life as possible I'm back at uni working I've got to run some errands and I'm just gonna take you guys along with that might be a boring vlog but this is real life Okay, so I finished work and I've got my lunch. I just got some chicken, chicken chips and gravy because I really felt like it. Um, but I had a really bad day at work today. I don't know what it is with Melbourne. It's being rude to their customer service staff. But today just wasn't it. Anyways, positive vibes. We are doing some fun stuff this afternoon. Okay, you guys, so I did a thing and I bought iPhone 13. I have wanted a better camera for a little while because I film and do a lot of stuff on my phone. So yeah, bought a new phone and I bought some wireless headphones for travel until he's coming in. Um, but yeah, because my AirPods just like sometimes fall out of my ears at the gym and stuff. So I bought those. So yeah, that's been my big spend this afternoon. Still on my green juice grind. Okay, so finished work for the week. I am so tired, but I'm sitting down at my beautiful desk now and I'm going to try and get some uni done. I'm just applying for a few things. Then I'm gonna go down, try and do a session at the gym. Um, it is nearly five o'clock though, so who knows um, how that's gonna go. Um, so then yeah, I need to clean my room and do a lecture tonight. So busy night. I'm gonna time lapse a few things for you, and yeah, you get to kind of just follow along with a night with me. So not very exciting, but I might even cook with you guys tonight. That'd be fun too. Okay, so I'm about to go hit up a train with Surf Workout, and this is my outfit. Hat to stacks, hat is stacks, top is old etch, like from maybe four years ago. Sneakers, Nike, I'm doing an upper body session. And I might film it for you guys. I'm going to take down like my tripod and my light just because I want to film. But if the gym's busy, I'm not going to because I just haven't been going to the gym lately. And... I'm just trying to get back into the routine. Um, I wasn't gonna go tonight, but I was like, what would that girl do? And that girl would get up and go to the gym. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do um, because 
that's who I want to be and you've got to show up as who you want to be every single day in order to become that person so yeah that's me for today um and then yeah I'll just update you guys hopefully I'm filming not gonna take any pre-workout beforehand because it is like 5 30 so yeah man with this pudding. Yep. Kale has made us this delicious chocolate pudding. It's his mum's recipe. Okay, this is so embarrassing, but this is what I'm dealing with in my room right now. I've been sick. I've like just really neglected my room for a few weeks now, so I'm gonna clean that up and yeah, show you guys after. <laughs> Okay, so it's not perfect, but in that little time lapse I showed you, I just did like 10 minutes of just like general tidying and we can see the floor again. There's some more clothes and whatever that I've got to put away. But yeah, not too bad. I just like, I'm going to take it like little chunk by little chunk because I've let like heaps of build up. But I'll show you like a quick little before and after and I'll do some more tomorrow. Which you'll see on the vlog. So yeah, this is the current stitch of the room. I've got to put this suitcase away, put all this like crap away. These hair extensions can just quickly go away, but um, return the bag to my friend, get rid of like this rubbish that's just been sitting there for a while and find a spot for that mat. Okay, so just had a shower, cleanse my face, brush my teeth, all the good stuff, hair wash is coming tomorrow, but I now need to moisturize in my pajamas. So I'm going in with the Hideaway uh, Body Custard in Vanilla Caramel in the Color Journal. I use this at night time. There's so much dust in this bathroom, so you'll see it all flying around. Um, I use this at night time for a little bit of extra hydration. Then I will go over the top of that with the body oil. Um, this one's just black because um, of the collagen range, but the same scent. And then when I'm feeling really bougie and like trying to be that girl, I will spritz myself with the body spray at night. So yeah, that's my uh, body care routine and I will jump straight into my face skincare routine in two seconds. Okay, so now that my body care is done, I like to go in with my hair and skincare. So the first thing I'll do is take the Morphe 2 Keep It Calm Facial Mist and I just spritz this all over after cleansing as a wet base for my hyaluronic acid because with hyaluronic acid you kind of need um, like it to be wet in order for the moisture to actually get locked in. Otherwise, you're just kind of like it's not absorbing any moisture. And therefore it's not locking anything in because it's, it's actually taking stuff from your outside environment and it's actually making your skin drier so yeah i use that spray to kind of just like get my face prepped and then while that is setting in and kind of just like drying on my skin i go in with my holy grail hair product the miracle hair treatment from 11 has literally kind of saved my hair my hair is looking quite jacked right now because i haven't washed it in literally nearly a week and it's just been like through the ringer at work and stuff lately but this stuff it's like got 11 different benefits um i'm not even sponsored by 11 i just love this product but um yeah it has like 11 different benefits it's like a heat protector um girls with like bleached hair or just like generally dry unhealthy hair like you need this in your everyday life and I think you would need this in your everyday life even just like as a heat protector it protects you from the sun like chlorine all that kind of like fun stuff so I just kind of brush that through so it's getting through my whole hair how weird that I'm brushing my literal curly hair it's because I blow dried it yesterday and it's looking a bit crusty because I did a really quick job and not like a proper blowout but yeah, and then I will just get a scrunchie and just kind of like knot that up on the top of my head to sleep in or I'll braid it. But because um, it's not going to wash night, I'm just going to chuck it up in a bun like that to sleep in. 
And then we'll move into our next skincare item. I'm just going to cut this clip. Okay, so my next skincare item is a pricey one, but it is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. And Matilda Murray actually recommended this to me. And I was having really bad, like, dry skin breakouts during the winter here in Melbourne. It's so cold and dry. And I was getting, like, really big breakouts from it. I've never had, like, really extreme breakouts before. So um, it was because my skin was so dehydrated. So up to the water intake and yeah i'm just living my best life now with this really expensive cream but that's okay um and then i will go in with my cerave under eye cream and i'll just apply it just under my eyes like so that just went everywhere but yeah and i'll just get a nice good bit and i'll just rub that in um i really love this eye cream it's quite affordable you can literally get it at like chemist warehouse fragrance free for anyone with like sensitive skin now that my skin is nice and hydrated i'm just going in with my washer and i'm just like doing two goes on each side I'm just really lifting and pushing away from the center of my face There we are, and I just need to grab my lip gloss in my bag. Okay, this is my holy grail lip gloss. It's the Hangover Pillow Balm by Too Faced. Again, kind of pricey, um, but I have really dry lips, I always have. And I have tried everything. I tried the Laneige one, and that's really good, but it just didn't like last on my lips. I'll wake up and this will still be on my lips tomorrow morning. Very hydrating, smells delicious. This is the watermelon one. So I would highly recommend for anyone. They've got a bunch of different colors in the gloss. So yeah, that's my nighttime skincare routine to get nice and glowy. Can't believe how chat my hair looks right now, but trust me, after a wash, it'll be nice because it's not going to be fried from the blowout. <laughs> so this is a really clear example of me showing up as that girl that I want to be. Me with my little student single bed, salt lamp on, water bottle ready to go journal next to my bed i'm just gonna do some journaling and then I'm gonna watch an episode of suits take in this beautiful view and go to bed i'll see you in the morning guys okay so this is today's outfit of the day just literally like a black top i can't even remember where this is from it's like unbranded um stacks crop underneath stacks hat stacks tights and converse and I'll check on a jump back to go to the gym. Okay, so every morning before I go to the gym, I take a glass of water, my Emerald Labs creatine, I got like the kilo size because I went through my last one so quick, and my Oxytrate and this is the flavor of rainbow candy. <coughs> and I make my pre-workout. Um, so I'm just gonna like make it all up, show you guys, um, rainbow candy is like my favorite flavor and you can get it from Elite Tops using my code Sophie. It is an affiliate code, so I do make a commission if you want to help me out. So yeah, I love this flavor and creatine. I need to start getting better at taking it every day because that's when you see the results from creatine, but I just haven't been taking it consistently. So yeah. So I've just gone back from the gym and I'm in a bit of a time crunch because I really want to get to uni in about an hour, but I'm all about showing up as the person I want to be and I need to have breakfast. So I'm gonna quickly shower, wash my hair, get it looking better, blow it out, and then have some breakfast and head to uni and really try and like smash out some of my work that I need to do for the upcoming week. super quick and easy love the like volume and texture um it only took me about 10 15 minutes and i'm really obsessed with that like clean girl matilda jerk look so 
deciding that what I want to be I will show up as. So I'm going in with some NAC shine spray just to like kind of give it that really glossy shiny finish. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so now that my hair's done, I'm literally I'm just going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Pores filter and I will just apply this all over the face just in like little spots and then I will just rub it in with my fingers so yeah I will come back once I've updated because this is a little bit fiddly with my hair out <laughs> okay so now that I've achieved that nice glowy look I'm just going to literally just brush my eyebrows and just keep them nice and fluffed um, and then yeah I'll literally just use my um, Too Faced lip gloss that I showed you yesterday and I'm nearly ready to go um, to achieve this look I literally just used the Kmart Ionic hair dryer it was literally $20 and um, this Moroccan oil um, brush it's in the 55 millimeter it's the Ionic and ceramic blend the brush was literally two times more expensive than the hair dryer so yeah that's what I used to achieve this like fluffy blown out clean girl look so that's my everyday look for uni. Okay, now I'm really close to heading off to uni. So it's time to pack my uni bag. This is just like a $9 bag from Kmart and it came with this like laptop case that fits perfectly inside. So obviously the first thing I'm packing is my iPad and Apple Pencil. I'll go in the computer case and my uh, trusty old Mac just for on the go. My collections and stuff. I take all my notes on my iPad and and yeah, and then inside the zip bag, I'll be putting my uh, little wallet with my ID and my my key, house keys, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'll be packing my AirPods just in case I need like a smaller set of headphones um, or if my over the head ones start to irritate me. Um, obviously, I always have tampons and pads in my bag. You never know who's going to need one. Chewy, Frank Green drink bottle. Move in Melbourne, so... Of course, a little fold-up umbrella, um, my case, which will have um, my headphones in it, face mask, my lip gloss, the chargers, so my laptop and my iPad charger, and of course, I will be wearing my headphones to uni. So yeah, that's everything that I pack in my uni bag. Well, and I'll be wearing my glasses, because um, I don't have my glasses case with me at the moment. So yeah, that's everything I pack in my uni bag for a day-to-day -day study day okay and this is kind of like the final book just with the jacket and the re box so yeah i'm ready to go to uni so it's super late Hang on, i'm just gonna put the light up it's super late we're about to go play frisbee because we've got the late game this week like kid it out for melbourne winter this jacket it's all tucked up underneath because i bought it from h&m thinking it was an extra large women's it's an extra large men's so it's like literally a dress on me that's all right but yeah okay good morning guys um it's about nine o'clock i've been up for a little bit doing some admin stuff still in my pajamas though i'm about to film a tiktok of like being like getting ready for the gym this morning bit sad with my hair i obviously washed and blew, blew it out yesterday and it looked really nice and then i went to frisbee and it was raining and wet and we're back with this situation and it's really really fuzzy like it won't even slick into a ponytail properly so probably gonna have to rewash it again maybe tomorrow i'm gonna try and push it out or maybe thursday because i've got something really exciting on thursday i've got a job interview I'm going to kind of keep everything else under wraps in case I don't get the job because that would be really sad if I told you guys about it and then didn't get the job. So um, today's agenda is I'm going to the gym soon-ish. Um, hoping to be back, had breakfast, ready to go about my day at about 11. Um, hit up a lecture, do some whatever, have lunch. Then um, I've got a class at 1 to 2 from 2 o'clock. I'm going to give myself a study break. I want to go walk the tan and listen to a podcast and kind of really think about how I'm going to prepare for this interview later in the week. 
And then I'm gonna come back and do some more study because I've got a really big day of uni tomorrow. I'm there from 11 till seven. So I've got a lot to prepare for. And then yeah, tomorrow I will get up, walk to uni and then I'll be at uni all day. And that's about it really. And then it'll be interview day. So look out. Here's today's gym fit, top stacks, underneath tops. I've got the classic and um, racist seamless crop for rear support, all stacks, stack shorts, stacks hat, and Nike shoes and socks. It's my fit. So I'm running behind because I took so long to film and get to the gym and everything. I got my iced coffee from 7-Eleven, $2, love it. Um, that session was so hard, like, I'm dying after it. Um, but yeah, just gonna go home, quickly make some brekkie, dive straight into my study okay so i'm sitting down doing some business law right now but i've written out a to-do list for this afternoon i'm about to start my pro bono uh online class so that's on the list i need to finish this business law lecture do my land law lecture go for a walk prepare for the interview that i have um start editing this vlog tonight which i'll sit down and maybe do as like a little break between the two lectures just because it's like switching my brain to something else. And then I have a really fun little reel to upload tonight and um, I'm gonna upload it to TikTok as well. So I'm gonna try and tick all of that off before tonight, before I can go hang out with my friends. I get such bad FOMO sometimes when I have lectures to do and everyone's in the lounge because I live in a share house. So I'm gonna try and get this all done today while they're at uni. Um, but I do have some time tomorrow to do the lectures if I don't get it all complete, so that's okay. Okay, so I just rewashed my hair because the rain yesterday left it feeling really icky. But I only shampooed it because I'm going to use some K18. Oh, yep, there we go. Which is like my holy grail hair product. It's like Olaplex all in one step. Um, so I'll put this in my hair. Then I have to just wait four minutes um, and then I can style it, do whatever. But I'll just, after four minutes, add some miracle hair treatment into my hair. And that's going to be my hair care routine for tonight. Okay, so I've done my hair and skin routine. Now I'm going to cook dinner and kind of just like let it simmer for a while while I do some study. Um, but my vegetarian friend Soph put me onto this textured veggie protein and it's amazing. It's actually like this bag is 400 grams and it was $4 or something. And it tastes exactly like mince. You just have to add a bit of seasoning and it's actually got more protein per gram than mince does and it's so much cheaper. So if you're a student or just someone on a budget or want to try and eat more plant-based, this is your go. You can get it at Coles and Belize and it's literally like home brand at both um, stores. So yeah, that's my little like dinner hack. So I'm just gonna cook up some spag bowl and do some uni. Okay guys, it's interview day. I <coughs> have got an hour and a half into my interview and I'm in my workout gear. Spent all morning scouting where the stack store actually was gonna be and I did find it. Very hard to find, Till helped me out a little bit, but um, I'm wearing this Stax turtleneck um, and it's a Zoom interview, so probably just some Stax pants because um, it's not like in-person interview i don't really think they're gonna see the pants but i still want to be wearing stacks and i would wear my jeans but i spilled coffee all down the front of them yesterday at uni so yeah i'm just like they need to be washed don't have time to wash them this morning so i think just some black stacks pants with the turtleneck hair slick back kind of vibe um this will be like the background I've got all this shit over here that I kind of need to move, but I kind of like have my stacks backs there, but I kind of want to like have them more prominent in the interview. And it's a really gloomy day today, so I've got my little like ring light that I use that I'm just going to chuck on my like computer screen so that I have good lighting for the interview. Okay, you guys, so here's the look for the interview. This is all that I really see because I'm um, to Zoom interview, but I'm wearing jeans. It's just like nervously watering my plants because i'm going home for the weekend um but yeah i'm just trying to like fill in time i've like made the background of like my zoom like pretty um because i've just like shoved all the shit that like doesn't have a home in my tiny little room over near my bed i need to give that suitcase back i need to go to the shoot i need to put away those clothes but um yeah, there's just like this mat doesn't have a spot in my room because 
tiny, like all this shit under my desk. It's most of it's rubbish, but you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, but if you're sitting here, that's my Zoom interviewer. Nothing, looks cute. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm just rambling, so I'm a bit nervous. I got this new scent from Who's Elijah yesterday. Normally, um, every day I wear like Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker or like Ariana Grande Cloud. Then if I'm like going out um, for dinner and drinks, I'd wear like my Gucci Bloom because it's like a really nice, fun floral scent. But I've tried Nomad, um, Nomad, Nomad by Who is Elijah. And it is just like, oh, it's like a little black dress in a smell. Like it's beautiful. So very nice and corporate, very sleek, very chic, very stuck. So even though it's a Zoom interview, um, I'm just gonna like try and show up as like my best possible version of myself and yeah, that's wearing a nice perfume. So I really went and treated myself. I think there will be a haul in order. Okay, it's rapid fire haul time. So, went to Uniqlo, got this little bag that like expands so you can fit so much in it. Hang on, let me just put this to the test real quick. I'm just gonna sit you over here on this because everyone says that you can fit like heaps of shit in there. So, but like full front green and there's like still space for other things. Like my leader front green. So I mean it was like $15. Perfect for like traveling also I've heard. Um okay now back on the front green. And then I went to cotton on. I got this like, beautiful like satin slip skirt. Um it's like a midi skirt length. Um, I'm really excited about this uh, for summer just because it's cute, classy. I'm trying to build a capsule wardrobe um, that I can wear year after year. Then check this Sephora. My I just got it silvery powder, but I bought it in the wrong shade. And my friends are obsessed with this Fenty Beauty powder, so I've got that for under my eyes. And then um, I can use the Charlotte Tilbury in other places on my face because um, so it doesn't brighten under my eyes. Then I got the professional hydrating uh, face primer because I have quite large pores um, and I didn't want the matte one, I wanted still like a glowy base. Then I checked into Mecca, um, let's open this up, and I got um, my Holy Grail Hangover Primer which I'll use like around my face and my forehead and stuff because it's really good. Um, and then finally I went to Zara and I've had my eye on this dress on Pinterest forever and I have not been able to find it in an Australian store. Then I went into Zara today and they had it and it's like got these puff sleeves and then it's like tight from like the elbow down. Sweetheart neckline, little mini dress and I just think it is so cute and classy. So that's my little haul. Okay so I'm back home. Um, I'm going to the gym with my friend Zali. Um, we always say that we're going to train and we never do when I'm home, so we finally are gonna go train. Um, I'm so tired, like, traveling takes it out of me so much. And I travel home last night, I didn't get home until late, so I might have all that once I'm back from the gym. Okay, so just went to the gym, had a lot of fun with Zali, we did a really hard session. Um, but I also went to because I'm at Will's house and just because I'm home it doesn't mean I don't want to still be eating healthy and just kind of like eating whatever. So I picked up some Europro for a snack. This is the plain 17 grams of protein one and I'll have that with some passion fruit pulp on top. Um, I picked up the Enco Beauty Concealer um, because they were 50% off. I picked up some Tid Top Sandwich Thins. Um, I'm going to have some avocado on toast for brekkie, um, I picked up some berries because I just want to have um, a smoothie this afternoon and after a snack before I go out to dinner with Will, um, I got some more passion fruit pole, um, things like chewy because when I'm craving sweets it's literally just because I'm bored so chewy, um, I got the Mr. Chen's green curry paste and just some coconut milk so I'm going to make a curry for lunch, a veggie curry, um, I got the Snickers peanut brownie, this is like a little snack to take to the footy tomorrow. 
and last but not least, they have these on elite subs, but I wanted to try them before I committed to the full 12 pack and you can get them at the moment for the introductory offer up. Um, it's the Oxy Shred Ready to Drink. So I've got them in passion fruit and kiwi strawberry. Um, but yeah, so I am going to do a review probably of the kiwi strawberry one. It's my morning coffee. Um, but yeah, you can get these from Elite Subs and they will work out cheaper with my code and in the 12 pack. But to try them, they are at an introductory price from Will. So I've got to start filming, but I'm getting ready for day night with Will. Um, and I bought those new makeup products yesterday, so my makeup routine has literally changed since I did my makeup earlier. Did I do that in this video? I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, so this is like the midway look right now. I'm just doing my flawless filtered face. Okay, so this is the look so far. The makeup, very natural. I've just got, still got to put the gloss on, but I'm obsessed with the Pore Professional Primer. It went on like a dream, and I just feel so much more smooth. And that MAC highlighter is just a nice, subtle little glow, and I'm so here for it. Anyway, so I'm in like this tube top, because that's what I'm wearing. I didn't want to put it on after my makeup, but... Now to curl my hair, it's already straight and I do kind of like vibe, like the like bangs out, a vibe but probably not with a strapless top, you know what I mean? Okay, so I just got home um, from being up home and I had my stack for to come, um, and this is from Freemage, the shock drop, um, but I realized when I got shipped they ordered two tops not like three tops in total but not as much ordered two tops and a pair of shorts but i ordered three tops <laughs> instead of the pair of shorts so yeah i'm gonna be showing you guys that and then i will show you guys what i got the shorts what color and everything and go through the specs okay and then i just wanted the baby tees from this collection i always get the strappy the thick crop um but i did accidentally order the thick crop however these ones have got that detailing like the scaly detailing all down the back which i think is so cool and of course like the stacks logo is like right on the middle of the chest instead which is really cute there's still the short crop i i do love the longer crops but this is really cute it's same that color as the baby tee so it'll be cute when my shorts come and then finally hi then finally i got this black stacks baby tee so yeah same as the last one has the ribbing on the sides okay hi this is editing me literally two weeks after that last clip of me with the stack stuff was taken and i just never summarized or finished the vlog so thank you so much for watching um the interview that i was doing within this vlog was at stacks um follow me on instagram this is my little shameless plug um you'll know that i now work at stacks so that's really exciting but yeah i mean thank you so much for watching uh let me know down below if you'd like to see these kinds of videos what you'd like to see because yeah i'm really enjoying vlogging again it just took me a little bit to get back into it and i just can't believe i didn't wrap it up but yeah don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on all my other social channels and i'll see you in the next one